This episode of the podcast is brought to you by our partner, Audible. Yes, it is. So we are partnered with Audible. That means that if you are looking just to check it out, uh, you don't want to put your card in and just take, take the dive. You can get 30 days for free on us. If you go to audibletrial.com slash J-A-T-G or click the link down below. Uh, you'll be taken there. You can sign up uh, for 30 days for free and just test it out. Like there's a lot of stuff on there that you can get for free, a lot of Audible exclusives. Uh, but what I really like about Audible is that out of the hundreds and thousands of audiobooks that they have, if you decide to purchase something, that is yours forever. Like if you decide not to carry on your subscription or you want to take a break or whatever it is, you can always go back and listen to that book whenever you want through the app on the internet. doesn't matter because it's yours. So once again, you can get that for 30 days for free on us. If you go to audibletrial.com slash J-A-T-G. <music> Welcome to uh, Johnny and the Greg. Um, Freaky Johnny Sorrow's way. We're live. I think we're live. We're live. So, um, what yeah, the thing said? If you're here for a fun conversation. Just kidding, folks. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. Um, I am going to drink this today. Um, I <laughs> don't know what else to say. Um, okay, before we get into that disaster. Um, at least you're not Colorado. Yeah. Just want to let you guys know real quick that um, if you guys are into possibly what kind of therapeutic sounds does Aaron Rodgers like to listen to as he heals, or if you're into TikTok trends that blow my mind right now, stay tuned because that's on the show. Greg, how you doing, sir? Did you have a good football weekend? I think you did. I think you did. I I, I did. I did. Yeah. I, uh it was You don't need I, this except to celebrate, I'm assuming. That's that's I have I got a I got my yes. celebration buddies. Okay. Well, that's great. Everybody's fucking celebrating. That's fantastic. Good. See, good. but good for you guys. You know Wisconsin well enough. Wow. Got all that in my face. Um you know Wisconsin well enough that we will drink when we win and we will drink when we lose. So, um win. Yeah. Win. What a novel we, concept that it's, is. It's 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 W I N. And it's when a team scores more than the opponents. So um I've heard of those rumors. <laughs> it it those. can happen. Yeah. So okay. So let's just talk about your uh your little Green Bay Packers here because I've heard a lot of people that we know that kind of give Jordan Love a hard time. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing a composed guy who's learning to play and a good defense yeah. that's helping him along. I I really liked um I liked Jordan Love today. I mean, it, again, does he have places to grow? Absolutely he does. Of course. Um but what I saw today and I didn't, you know, I thought the game until the fourth quarter I'm like this is done. And you were you were even on the text room where you're like you're you're down like seven starters. Like you got to take that yes. into consideration. Yep. Um, I think it was seven. There was a lot. I know there was that. a lot. There was a lot yeah. there, was more a than I thought. I, I missed the kickoff by like, I missed the first series. Um, I was still getting back from the grocery store and like Sunday errands and stuff. Um, so I didn't even know how many people we had out until you said, no, you're missing like seven people. I was like, what? And I looked and I'm yeah. like, Oh my God. Yeah. That's a ton. Yeah. Um, so I, I kind of thought that I'm like, well, this game is probably not winnable when you have seven of your starters out and the Saints are not bad. I mean, it's not like, no, they're a, not. I think if Derek Carr didn't go out, I think you, I think you would have lost. It would have been a different story. Yeah. I I think but, so too. Um, So, you know, and that's football, not, man. not, not wishing ill on Derek Carr, but yeah. you know, it, it, it went the right way for the Packers. Um, What I liked is in that, it, it wasn't quite the two minute drill, but it was in the like late in the fourth quarter. 
Jordan Love showed that he could lead a team in in that clutch situation. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay. What I liked was that's what I needed to see. I mean, that was there cool. were, yeah, there were moments where he okay, this is a perfect situation where you know what you got in a quarterback. Like he could have shrank, uh, not th- not like he was going for it. Like those passes yeah. into the end zone, he was going for it. He was, he was, there was no um hesitation there was no concern it was just boom and yep. a lot of quarterbacks will shrink and try to do the check down or they'll try to do just a small little right. thing to get closer and closer he was going for the end zone so mm-hmm. i liked what i saw i liked i liked what i saw as a football fan as a bear fan i'm horrified because now it looks like you guys he, he jordan love doesn't even have to be a hall of famer he just has to be like kirk Cousins. Pretty good just just yeah. he just has to be good he just don't lose the game that's all he has yeah. to be you know don't don't be the reason we lose the game yeah yeah for the most part yeah so i think you guys did well i think you guys are going to have a good season where he's learning to play quarterback i don't know if you'll yeah. get to the playoffs i have no idea um, i but, see and, that, and that's the thing i mean we've talked about this before in the show like as a packer fan we've made it to the playoffs enough like mm-hmm. that like that is now our bare minimum of performance, right? Like, oh, you didn't make the playoffs. What the fuck is wrong with this team? I mean, that's yeah, you guys are that's spoiled. where we're at. I, I, I say so. that I say that jokingly. I also say that very serious. You guys are spoiled. Yeah, I have I have other friends that are Packer fans that were not on the text chain that we were on today that were also sending me this sucks. This season blows. Can't believe it. I'm out of here. And I'm like, you guys are all a bunch of spoiled little <laughs> bitches. All of you are. The whole people that were sitting there complaining. And I get complaining. I get. I totally get complaining. Yeah. What I don't get is I'm not watching this. I'm going to go do oh. other stuff. Yeah. No. And I'm, I'm like, I knew some of that was joking for yeah. some people. For some. For other people, I didn't. The one person, and I think they're watching wrote a long example of 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 um they wrote a real long example of uh how they are not a they're not a fair weather fan um i think you're mixed with a, what a fair weather fan is a fair weather fan is someone that goes and cheers for the patriots when they're winning and then when the kansas city jump chiefs ship. are now good now they yeah. jump ship to the kansas city chiefs that's a fair weather fan i'm talking about the packer fans that for god 30 freaking years you guys have had fantastic <laughs> just yeah. fantastic football games um win or lose win lose or draw fantastic football games just because it gets a little tough you're gonna leave come on yeah, you, spoil, it, you spoil little people i'm not talking no, to you, Greg. no 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 i know you're not but but i think that's that that's our frustration level and, and this is where i, I want to hear it, it. Don't want to hear your frustration. I, I know you. Do, I know you don't want to hear. It. Um, <laughs> but I'm like, I, I, it's because I'm. I see my dad in myself when I'm watching. Unfortunately, all, that all of us or almost any sporting event now. But yeah, but like my dad, and it used to it used to annoy me when he. I mean, I mean, yeah, it used to annoy me like every play. And this is even going back to when Packers in like the the eighties. Yeah, when we were terrible. Yeah. Um, if every play isn't a scoring drive or isn't a touchdown, if every play isn't a touchdown, you look at my dad, he's like, yeah. Oh, I missed that. (laughs) Yeah. Just, just shaking his head. Yeah. And I'm watching it now and I'll be like, if we get, if we get a nine yard run, which is phenomenal, if it's first and 10 and we get nine yards, I'm just like, "Mm, come get that last one. Yeah. (laughs) Spoiled. Spoiled. I'm, I'm now telling myself like, dude, what? Yeah relax it's a good thing that you know my kids didn't get heavy into sports in high school because yes i'm afraid i would have turned into that parent of like if everything wasn't just spot on i would have been like well come on yeah 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 well enough about your fun times Um, (laughs) so i I live over here in bearland where i've heard this uh, there's a great quote out there i believe the head coach was named john cooper i i I don't know if i have that right or wrong he was the buccaneers head coach when they first started when the buccaneers came into the league in 1976 okay i think they went oh and 23 or something like that yeah and somebody said to him in the media uh what do you uh uh 
um, what do you think about your team's ex- execution on offense? And he said, I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I'm all for it. Just do yeah. something, Chicago. Do well, something. Um, it's it's painful when like people are. I'm not done, Greg. Stats. Oh, I'm sorry. Go oh. ahead. I, I, uh, this is, um, God, you know what the bears are to me? And I've used this analogy already today to describe my dog. Uh, a drug. They're like that. They're like that family member that knocks on your door and, and they're like, Hey man. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, Jane kicked me out. Can I just hang out here for like a weekend? <laughs> you know, just till I get myself up and running. And you're like, yeah, of course, man, come on. You know, we'll, we'll figure it out. And they never fucking leave and they eat yeah. all your food and they never pay for anything. They never help out. They never do the dishes. They never clean up after themselves. It's that one family member you can't get rid of, but God damn it, they're family. So you love them. And the whole time, Greg, I didn't expect us to win today. I didn't expect it at all. I expected a fight. I yeah. expected something that said, um, we're, we're getting better. And we're not, Greg. We're getting worse and yeah, worse. It's worse and worse. I'm not done, Greg. And worse no and risk. worse. Okay. And I'm sitting there watching this like this. And, I'm <laughs> saying, and the whole time I'm saying I should have listened to my mother because my mother is a diehard, or my mother was, God bless her soul, a yeah. diehard 49er fan. And mm-hmm. she kept telling me, Johnny, quit hitting your head against the wall. Why don't you just, you know, Cheer for Switch my teams. Team. Cheer, Switch yeah. teams. Yeah. Oh, I should have listened to her, Greg. I'd but have you five can't. Super Bowls. I'd have five Super Bowl championships. It, it, we, you and me could have some sort of remote rivalry of something. But you can't. Go ahead, Greg. So, I'm, I'm, it, I'm just going to drink. Go ahead, Greg. If something were to happen that somebody would say, like, like, like I, don't, I don't know what would it be, but something terrible where people would be like, you can't be a, a Packers fan anymore. I don't think you can just get rid of that. It's in your DNA now. No, yeah, you know, I can't. You can't. I mean, damn, dude, you're almost 48. I mean, it's it's just there. And the thing that I was going to say is there's no reason the Bears should be this bad. Nope. There is no re- I mean, with the fan base, the money they have, the opportunities they've had, there's just no reason the Bears should be this bad. Yeah. You when you and I were texting earlier this week, when all the drama happened in the Bears. Oh office, yeah. You know the the their coach left with with still no real reason. You the know, only thing the, I've heard so far now is it it was an it was an incident that involved the Bears HR. That's all they're saying. What that, that, that could be it. I mean, that happened in in Arizona last season or the season before, where their yeah, you're they, right. Their coach just disappeared. Turned out he he was hammered. Well, hammered and then assaulted a lady in Mexico City because they had a game in Mexico, and you're just like, yep, can't do that. Yeah, but and, and you know, any any person in this in America today, any person that loses their job and they're like, it's an HR situation. Really, we don't need to know. Like, it's not our business. It's his business. Whatever. I agree with that. Hang on. And I I know you're going to finish something, but in my opinion, if that's the case, the Bears should have said it from the get-go. What they did was they kept saying, I have nothing to tell you. Right. And that just needs a better PR person. That just just needs them to dig further and further. further. But go ahead. Go ahead. Whoever their PR person is, they they need to get better at at their job. Um, Go ahead. But even the rumors of like, the FBI raided his house, the FBI raided Hallis Hall, which is the Bears home office, you know, all of these rumors. And then they immediately pulled back. They're like, no, no one, no one raided Hallis Hall today, right. which just drives the media to go today. Like they didn't rate it today. Does that mean they did it yesterday? I mean, you got now you got everything spinning. So I understand why they're just like, you know what, we're not going to say shit. Right. Um, kind of step off and hope it goes away. But, but, even you had said, well, maybe it's like embezzlement stuff. I'm like, well, that would make sense of why the bears have been shitty. Like, like something's happening in there. That's, you know, Oh, we don't have the money because somebody else is embezzling it to some Swiss bank account or something. Yes. So it, it, 
it begs the question and we've answered or not answered, but we've asked this before too, like the ownership, like they know nothing about football. Their old man did. I mean, the, the Hollis senior certainly knew Papa George bear, George Papa bear Hallis. Yeah. Um, he, cre- he, he started the NFL. Yeah. The yeah, bears I mean, are like, a charter franchise. They should be mentioned in the same breath in the same sentence with the green Bay Packers, yes. the Steelers, the Niners, the Cowboys, it should all well, be there. We're with the Browns and the Jaguars. And before the last two seasons, the Detroit Lions were, were, were bottom feeders now. And yeah, my and only hope, and I'm, this is my last thing I'm going to say about the Bears. My only hope is that the president that they just acquired, um, he used to be the Big Ten commissioner, Kevin Warren. He was the Minnesota Vikings C CFO. CFO, yeah. He comes from a, a, a long line of successful football franchises that he has helped nurture and grow. He yeah. just started in April. Hopefully he does something because this yeah, coaching staff this... needs to go. Whatever needs to fucking go needs to go. But yeah. what I'm saying is we have an actual guy that knows football that can actually make decisions now. That's all I'll say. Yeah, the, there has to be like scorched earth changes where it's like all of you are gone. We're doing a completely new thing, almost like what Wisconsin did right. when, when, when Fickle came in. Yes. Um, you know, Fickle came in and it became a just like a clearinghouse. You're right. gone, you're gone, you're gone. Yes, you can come. And even still, like people would come in. Oh, I want to, I want to work with Wisconsin now and coach. So they'd come in, coaches and players, Lickle, fickle, laid out the plan. And then they went, No, oh, I don't want to do that. He's like, then you're gone. Like this isn't the place for you. Right. And so there needs to be some like, yeah, yeah. wholesale changes at the Bears because. And as much as Packers fans bitch about the Bears and like, oh, you know, they want the, we want to beat the Bears, but we don't want to beat the Bears when they're just an absolutely shitty team. Like people will say, I, I oh, don't yeah, believe you, but, see, but I, 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 don't I, I, don't believe- I don't hold that against you. I don't hold it against you. I don't hold it against any Packer fan. My whole thing is with, yeah. with the Bears Packers, I equate it to a big time college football program and the little brother in the same state. Yeah, it's like not... uh, Michigan, Michigan State. Forgive me, Michigan State fans, but we all know that Big Blue is the one that runs Michigan. Correct. Yeah. So it's it's always like that. We're not. It's not Michigan, Ohio State. It's not that. It's Michigan, Michigan State. That's it what it should is. The rivalry. Be. I mean, it and should I, be. absolutely. And, and it should that's be up there. The, the NFL should step in, like, and be like, "Hey, hey Bears, we're gonna help you out a little bit." Because they, it should, it's good for the NFL. Oh, for the Bears to be Greg, good. I have, I have said this good. for years. If we ever get a quarterback that is like a top notch quarterback, yeah. he would be on par with Michael Jordan in this city. Absolutely, he would. Right. Yeah. You I take mean, Patrick Mahomes and his two Super Bowls, you put him in Chicago with two Super Bowls, right? You, you do yeah. that. He's as big. If not bigger, he's the than biggest Michael Jordan in this Absolutely. town. Yeah. yeah. So Chicago loves their superstars. Oh, yeah. Well, like, not only that, we love our Bears. We love yeah. we our Bears. We want them to win. We want we want what you guys have had yeah. for 30 years and what seems like you guys are gonna have for at least another 10. We want yeah. that. So all right, yeah. guys. I don't want to keep bitching and moaning about football. That's not why you guys <laughs> tune in. While um, you are tuned in, please like, subscribe, share, do all those fun things that get that L. L- I'm starting to drink a lot, so help me out with the word algorithm. Thank you. There you go. I would have just said algorithm. Oh, no, oh, uh, get the algorithm. <laughs> uh, Marshall, who's a Bears fan, he made a uh, quote here. He's like, "You can go ahead and join my mom's Miami Dolphins. They seem to be off to a good start." Uh, my daughter, five years old. Loves the Dolphins. I don't know. A hat one day at a mall said, Daddy, can you please buy me this hat? Please, 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 please. And I was like, it's the Dolphins. It's a football team. She's like, yeah, I know. She put it on. She now plays video games with me. She wants to be the Miami Dolphins. She, anytime they're on the TV, she wants to watch the Miami Dolphins. I'm not going to stop her. I'm not going to tell her, be a Bear fan. Nuh-uh. Baby, you cheer on those Dolphins. 
They they Have could be fun. the Salt Lake City unicorns, and as Correct. they've appealed to a little girl with their colors and their Correct. mascot. And Correct. You know, sometimes that's all it takes to make a lifelong fan. So. Correct. So, but today she had a fun time because they fucking scored seventy points. She oh my god, it. that Play. doesn't happen in the NFL. No, what happened? I don't what know, but you know what's really happened? fun, Greg? Here's what's really fun. Do you think the Denver Broncos, who gave up seventy points, are are upset? I would think so. Guess who they play next? Oh, okay. (laughs) Two thumbs, and they're pointing at this guy. Yep. 0-4. We're going to go. I'm sorry. I'm not going to talk about the Bears. I've already promised you people that. You're full of shit. We're going to talk about the Bears. We're done. Um, We're done. Or or they could be so downtrodden that the Bears have a shot. So, um, (laughs) Honest to God, if they took Patrick Mahomes out in the third quarter of an NFL game. Yeah. They took him out. They were well, like, yeah, you, you know, you're good. Well, and it, let's just talk about um, Colorado football for the weekend. Like, yeah, that was rough. That was rough. what, but you know what Dion that like, look, man, that I love what he's doing. I am all, I am all about Colorado football. I love that he's doing that. But he still doesn't have that good of a team. Well, and, and that's he will he I want to. I want to just for those of you that didn't see the Oregon Ducks, just it was a prison rape scene in, yes. in Boulder this weekend where they just like decimated Colorado. And so I was watching because I, I saw the score and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. What happened? Yes. Because everybody's expecting Colorado to be like this huge contender team. And here comes, here comes Oregon and just went, nope. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't. I, well, let, the, me, hold on. let me stop. No, you there. no, I, no. I'm still talking. To you. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. But watching some other pundits and stuff like that talking about, they're like, okay, we're all wrapped up in the hype of yeah. Coach Prime and what he's doing for the, you know, Colorado. Does he actually go by Coach Prime? He does. I had to look it up. But Prime that's lame. was that's lame. Sorry, totally lame. Prime was his nickname, like back in high school. Yeah, it was Prime Time. Yeah. So that's what he is now going as in college ball. I don't get it either. But Deion I mean, Sanders, you're a man. You're a man. De- you're Deion man. Sanders is a personality that I have never understood. Even when he was playing football, I'm like, oh, I love. Yes, him. I love. He's him good, him. but I just I loved him. No, nah, I couldn't stand him. Um, it's because he wasn't a pack. The, the idea, maybe. <laughs> um, where is it? Okay, so they're yes, like, what he's doing with the program is cool. They're happy to see it. It's going to take him a good two to five years to really enact change in that program to build it up to match yeah. the hype that they're yeah, giving. Of course, him. they're yeah. like that change can't happen in a couple months. Right. Like he needs more time to build that program. And that's just what Oregon showed people is like, yes, yeah, they're not, they're, they're not there. They're not there yet. Yeah. And they're going to get a rude awakening this Saturday as well. They play USC who oh, Greg, man. you man. should probably watch USC because they have a quarterback there that we're probably going to get. Oh, really? Yeah. This dude's I, awesome. Is he? But we'll yeah. probably fuck him up. Like we fuck up everybody else. But anyway, Anywho, yeah, hope not. Um, hey, Greg, yeah, what kind of therapeutic sounds does Aaron Rodgers like to listen to? What do you think? What kind As he's of healing, ther- relaxing, what do you think? I don't know, whales humping or something like that. I mean, that's close. You're very fucking close. Sex sounds from a dolphin. Dolphin sex sounds. He said this on Pat McAfee's show on Tuesday, and my first question. When I heard when he said dolphin sex sounds, I said, does he mean the team or is he talking about an animal? <laughs> you mentioned that. Okay. Okay. Oh, damn it. See, this is why I hate this show sometimes because now I got to Google that. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's what he said. You think he's being truthful? I think he is. I just don't think he gives a shit. But to be fair, I've never heard of dolphin sex sounds. Maybe they're very soothing. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what he likes to listen to to heal. I don't know. But I thought it was interesting when I heard it. Thought I had to bring sound it up on the podcast. Bullshit. So my question 
to you guys out there is what kind of sounds do you find therapeutic? Because seriously, I think I like um, like chimes, like blowing in the wind. Oh, okay. I like chimes. I relax during chimes. I don't relax during bear games. You're not, we're not talking about the bears anymore. No, uh, Mar- no. Marshall did bring up Ohio beating, beating Notre Dame. I didn't see that. Yeah, uh, that was a crazy game. That was a good game, Marshall. I don't know. Really? Yeah. I like the old fashioned 14 to 10, knock them, sock them. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm a fan of that stuff. Okay. Can you repeat the question? Because I was looking up dolphin sex sounds on YouTube. Yeah. What kind of therapeutic sounds do you like? Therapeutic sounds do I like? Um, what relaxes you? You know, it's weird. Like I, because we're getting into like the ASMR kind of thing. Um, we are a little bit, yeah. Like sounds that calm you down, or that you can just uh, ASMR. You ASMR. Think you're talking to. Uh, I don't know what it actually stands for, but again, I've got the Google machine. Thank, thank God, I'm not the only. Here. It's it's sounds that soothe you. Uh, oh. Auto Thomas sensor sensory meridian response is a tingling sensation that usually begins in the scalp and moves down your back and into your upper spine so it's the oh. sounds that make the make you go uh, things that make you go ooh. yeah but i i knew i know of it from the uh from the like just videos of people are like ace and it's everything from like i don't know first time i ran into it was like a woman like doing that to her microphone. You mean the crisscross applesauce? What are you talking about? Well, just like if you had a mic, if you had earphones on, you'd hear it a lot better. But just like or crinkling paper, I don't even have any. Like, that you like, find like, soothing? Like, no, no. But oh. ASMR was just people that like those kind of sounds. So for me, um, there's videos out there of guys that like clean cars, like they do like the deep clean on a car, and it's just them like, and you're like. Go. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like I watch that. And I, I wait. Do you mean like the sound of wiping a car? Like the no, they they use like these brushes to clean the upholstery and stuff like that. Or so like just, the like um like a <laughs> yeah yeah. So like it, visually, it's stimulating because you've got this like absolutely filthy car and you're watching yeah. it get clean. But then just the sound of them like okay wiping, and I was like. Next I ain't going to make fun of you. I, I, didn't, I didn't think I'd be into it, but next thing you know, I'm watching a 10-minute video, and I'm just like... Do you know what I watch a 10-minute video of forever? That compressing machine that smashes shit on Instagram? You Sorry. Right? My you neighbor's right? car alarm. Yeah, my neighbor's car alarm's going off. Don't know what that's about. You need to grab your cape? <laughs> I don't think so. It's not that kind of neighborhood. <laughs> But they're about to figure out. I mean, they're they're usually like turned in by nine. Okay, uh-huh. so no. It's one of those things where my mic was picking it up, and I'm like, yes, oh, okay, okay. And I thought my it was maybe my son who was playing video games in the front room, but he's probably playing Baldur's Gate. So I'm like, that there shouldn't be a car horn happening. Right. What's going on out there? Okay, back to the show. What were you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little tipsy. A- ASMR. It's, it's been a long um, time since. No, no, no. Uh, soothing sound. Soothing sound. Yeah, soothing so sounds. we were talking about you like yeah yeah that upholstery that um upholstery do you know what a farrier is a farrier a farrier is a guy that takes care of horses hooves so you hear a like like when you you watch the 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 crunching the the crunching the video of them like like stripping wait a minute are we talking about sounds or are we talking about watching it's both it's both it's like mesmerizing to hear the sounds okay. along with the video and i just I, i'm it's like huge... bo- it's like bob ross stuff he, he, his yes, soothing sound and these paintings or you're taken in by the visuals i'm i'm a huge fan of uh, that hydraulic press that crushes shit I yeah understand. yep i Did... love that i will watch that for hours uh our friend from college rita her husband like invents those the hydraulic press? Yeah. He makes different kinds of like hydraulic presses and, and like pneumatic hammers and shit like that. Yeah. But you know what uh, I'm talking about, right? Like if yeah, anybody doesn't yeah, know what just, I'm talking about on Instagram, there's the hydraulic press mm-hmm. page or it's a page, right? I'm sure it is. That yeah. Yeah. So like they'll crush anything like a football. They'll crush yeah. a, uh, a, a thing of rope. 
and or they'll crush a notebook and eventually then or a, like a phone book and it all of a sudden explodes in the middle yeah. it's yeah it's it fantastic turns into confetti. they crush skittles and grapes and oh my god it's amazing it just is. uh marshall says the sound of a box fan is the greatest most soothing sound in the world okay i know what a fan There's, is what's a box fan it's just like the white fan like the college fan that we had just it's a box and you just oh your, do you yeah. sleep to a fan do you have to sleep to a fan um I do now. I mean, my wife keeps the ceiling, the ceiling fan on like twenty four seven. There's I never do. a point where like our ceiling fans aren't running. Okay, it seems. Um, and like the one in our room, if it's turned off, yeah, then I'm like, something's wrong. Like yeah. it doesn't sound. Yeah, annoying. we put on um a fan that goes kind of loud it's kind of loud but it drowns out everything to the yeah. point like we originally did it so that Gwen couldn't hear us watching TV and she could sleep mm -hmm. and now it's like I can't sleep without that damn fan on yeah I for decades I sleep with my head I got one pillow underneath me and another one over my head really and yeah and my dad used to sleep that way so I think I started it by well, I want to sleep like dad sleeps. And then so I put a pillow over my head. Um, and now I'm like, oh, it's just blocking off the sound. Like I'm not oh, deaf. Oh, so if my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so if my wife talks to me, I can be like, huh, do you say something? But it blocks off just like, yeah, just like that little, it's muffling everything. Okay. Just real and, quick. I might be getting personal here. Let me know. So you guys don't fall asleep cuddling you and your wife. No much are you one of those people where it's when it's time to sleep eh. Eh. we are now as we're older but we never used to but even when we were an old like, thing you cut think? it i think yeah just people i, th need their I space. agree i agree I, one of the worst things i think i ever did is get a king size bed um we got it she's way over there <laughs> yeah, because now she's way over there <laughs> i i thought we and even when we got it we were almost past the phase of when the kids would pile in the bed. I remember having a queen size bed and the three kids are in there plus us. And I'm like, just huddled onto the one side. Of course. Dad's and always then, on the edge. And then we get a king size bed and like, they just kind of stop coming in. I was like, we have room now. Like this is, <laughs> we got room. I like that. <laughs> I, but honestly, yeah. Like I'd go back to a queen size bed if it meant like, but you know the furniture all matches that one shit. All right, Mrs. Truly, I know you're listening. What soothing sounds do you? Like? Uh, she's commented. She says ocean waves. Oh yeah, that's that's always it, a classic. That's a classic. I don't know. Not for me. Not for me. Ocean yeah, waves. Like, have you ever have you ever gone to a place where you could leave well, the I've... door open and listen mm -hmm. to the ocean? It's amazing. Yeah. It no, was okay. not for you. Not for you. No, it, not not no, not really. No, I mean, it, it was fine, but it, it was the same guy that doesn't like lobster either, folks. Yeah, I don't like lobster. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Why. Just kidding. Hey, everybody has their thing. Um, I like, I, but I fall asleep pretty well to like sounds of a city, like traffic sounds, just that hum of oh, okay, okay. Like, I, like, I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, like, we, like we've, uh, being in Vegas, we, we had a room that had a balcony. And I'm like, sure, open it up. I didn't care. Like, just thunderstorms that. are soothing. Oh, I love a thunderstorm. That's thunderstorms are good. I love it. I mean, not like the like, not the one where you think your, your roof is going to get. Yeah, not the one yeah. where you think you're you're going to be taken away like Dorothy. Like no, like those. So are like scary. like a good rain. Yeah, like I, a summer shower. Yeah, right? I'm yeah. fantastic on a rainy yes. day. Those like, are awesome. Ever. Those are awesome. I also. On a cold where I where I know it's cold outside and I can mm -hmm. hear the wind blowing mm -hmm. like through the trees. Like nothing dangerous, you know, you're not worried about trees falling, but you right. can you can hear through the through the trees and the wind. It's just you know, yeah. It's one of those moments where you're like, thank God I'm inside. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. But I like a summer thunderstorm. I love it. But you like crickets? That, no, not not in a in that way that just reminded me of another topic real quick so we're going to go off of sounds if you guys have any sounds please let us know in the comments as well as throughout the week as you guys listen to this um all right hold on this is a this is one i didn't even know you could have okay 
warp core slash engineering on the echo dot so if you have like the the amazon that's that's what the echo is is the echo. it's called the warp core warp core slash engineering it's like it's just enough backward noise and it has like a pulsing rhythm to it is so warp I'm, core like from star trek yeah i think so look anytime they were in engineering like the it warp would go core vroom, had a, vroom, vroom, a little bit vroom, yeah there was like, like a sound to it and i'm like oh okay and that's leading me down and i'm thinking out loud now but like the sound of the force in star wars it has like a low oh, yeah the yeah it has like, like that, a rumble yeah. to it i'm like i could see where if you were to just have that those are both good i like yeah that. could you do you think you thanks could Dwayne. i didn't know you could do that i think there's something up with the lightsabers too the hum yeah i bet that's probably pretty similar to the warp core i bet the... yeah yeah I do like how the way Ahsoka's has a little rhythm to it. Yeah, there's listen to uh, Ahsoka's lightsaber. It's like I don't know how to explain it now. The the tone is different. Yeah, yeah, completely that comes, different. And it's it, awesome. in Star Wars lore. That comes from the crystal. Like whatever okay. the crystal is, it sets the tone of the lightsaber. So each color has a slightly different tone to it. Got it. Got it. Why well, I like Ahsoka's? Um, yeah, that's those are good. I like those. I like those. Mm. Um. So I uh, I was talking about gra- uh, crickets, yeah, crickets. And exactly. I heard on a radio show this week that a uh, a guy was woken up by his wife, middle of a dead sleep, to get a cricket that's on the wall. Oh. So I ask you, Greg, okay, what would it take for you? To I guess get woken up and not be mad, like because if Ursula woke me up to kill a cricket on a wall, I'd be pissed. Yeah, yeah, I'd like, you be can't fucking stuff. handle that. That's how I would feel. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. I right. get up and handle it, but I would not say to her, "You couldn't fucking handle this." I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I would go, that- "Sure, honey," but what would you need to to like get up and be like, "Nope, you should have woke me up for this for sure." Oh, um, like for me, if it's anything from an animal to life threatening, yeah, like, like like a raccoon get in the house or something, or yeah, like we've had we've had bats in our old house. Okay, yeah, wait. So me like, up. You, so like we're we're asleep, and all of a sudden you, I mean, it's dark in the room, and then you yeah. see something just a uh, little like a shadow, dark, like a little darker than the dark. Oh, just when you're done with this, let me remind me. Yeah. I have a bat story. Go ahead. So. So we've had that. I mean, we had a we had a black lab at the time. And I remember at one point, I'm like, why is he running around? Because he didn't like tear around the house or anything like that. Yeah. And I remember hearing him like go up and down the hallway. I'm like, well, something's wrong. Yeah. And I get up and I, I remember I stand up. And I was like, Chris is like, what are you doing? I said, I don't know. Indy's freaking out. And I hear him like, you know, like big dogs when they like, try to grab something out of the air with their mouth and you got that mouth sound. So I hear him like, what the hell is he doing? Is he trying to eat a fly? I flip the light on and a bat goes, mm. I'm like, oh. it's so, like I, I, then it's like, okay, yep. Glad I got up. Yep. Um, one time we had a, when we had a, a, an air conditioner, like that had to be in the window, you know, like an air yes. uh, window yes. unit air conditioner. Um, I remember hearing like flapping in there. I'm like, what the hell? A bird had gotten stuck in the windowsill. Yes, that happens. They try to put their nest sometimes. In there. Yep. Yeah, and so like that happened once, and she's like, "What are we going to do?" I'm like, "Oh, well, I have to get them out." So like, I got up and did that. But yeah, yeah. If it was like if she has me take care of spiders, or she has someone else in the house take care of spiders, I don't like that. I'm just like, just leave the spider alone. It's like not a big deal. Right. Right. So when I was living in Lake Geneva senior year of whitewater darren hafford okay. if you're listening you uh you actually remember this story um because you were involved i was sitting in the room by myself and i th- saw something out of the corner of my eye like mm-hmm. hover around me i looked up and i swore to christ it was dracula right because you don't expect a bat like i don't know you're just hanging out just like yeah i, I think i was doing something for school i'm writing like a paper and i and I'm like, what the? F-? I'm like, holy fuck! And I got down. I'm like, <laughs> like, get scared. I don't care what anybody says. When you see a bat for the first time, and it's like in your house, like outside, yeah. I outside in Wisconsin, it's very common to throw a stone up. 
and a and a oh yeah, they're everywhere. A yeah. bat will fly around because the radar picks it up. But in the house, freaked out. Yep. Ran downstairs. Darren just walks in. Darren Hafford, he's been on the podcast. He walks in and he's like, What's up? I'm like, there's a fucking bat upstairs. He's like, No, there's not. I'm like, dude, there's a <laughs> fucking bat upstairs. Do you got do you remember, Greg, the uh the great outdoors? Yes. When John Candy and Dan Aykroyd had to he take got on a, a tennis rack, tennis racket and a basket exact over Exact same thing Darren and I did. We fucking put I actually put a a wicker trash <laughs> thing on my head. <laughs> And he had a net that we found like in the in the basement, and yeah. I had a bat, and we were fucking up there trying to fucking get this thing. We ended up getting in and getting out of the out of the out of the thing, but it was one of those situations where it was like me and Darren both looked at each other and we were like, "We're so thankful you didn't bring a girl home," because right yeah. <laughs> we looked like pussies. Yeah, like, we were so freaked out. But anyway, that's um, say, actually that same air conditioning unit where the bird was stuck. Yeah, we had another bat in the house. I turned the turned the light on, and the bat had like just like stuck to the air conditioner. Oh my god! And I was like, Is okay, so I, yeah. I like went downstairs, got like a puffy winter glove, just went up and went, just like grabbed it off the air conditioner. He's like, "What are you do?" I'm like, "Take it outside." So I took it outside. Oh, you weren't gonna bite its head off like Ozzy Osbourne? No, no. which no. is rumor, by the way. That never happened. I um, that really, never happened. No, right. it was somebody else. Like maybe it did happen, but he think didn't it think it was Ozzie. real. He talked about it. I think it was. I, I thought I didn't think he expected it to be a real bat. Like somebody. Oh, that's him, right. And somebody he was like, threw it on the stage. Yeah, and then he was like, "Oh, that's a real bat. Yeah. I just need to roll with this." Yeah, yeah. yeah anyway. He's probably high as a kite anyway. Ozzy on drugs. Shut up. <laughs> All right, Greg. I'm going to ask yeah. you a question. Okay. okay? You might know where I'm going with this. I probably bet you do. How often do you, sir, think of the Roman Empire? Oh, God. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's the that's been going around my house lately. Okay. It's not um, bullshit, by the way. I've asked neighbors. I've asked. I went to a friend. I went to see my sister's. Uh, my sister just had a baby. I went to go see her. She's adorable. She actually looks like a little hobbit. Like a little. She's like this big. She's like two weeks old. So she's like this little <laughs> thing. But anyway, um, I went to go see her and I asked Ben. I said, Ben, because Ben's not a guy. He doesn't do social media. Yeah. So I was like, Ben, how often do you think of the uh, Roman Empire? He goes. I was I was I just thought about that the other day. And I was like, you're full of shit. According to TikTok, and I, I think it's caught fire to the point now where well, yeah, I think it, people it are has. lying. Right. But I asked my neighbor, how often do you think of the Roman Empire? And he was like, about once a month. And I was like, you got to be shitting me. Greg, I've never thought of the Roman Empire. Not like where I'm sitting there and like in deep thought and like randomly thinking about it. Any man that has thought of the Roman Empire that is listening to us, can you please let us know in the comments? Go ahead. Well, I mean, have I thought? Sure. Like. When I'm scrolling through, I'm like, "Oh, gladiators!" Out. Does that count as thinking about the? That's Roman a good Empire? question because my first my my first question was, "Are you associating like roads, welfare, plumbing?" Right. Like, yeah. Does all of that constitute? Rome? Like I, I know how does that count. I know how a space shuttle rocket. I think the the uh, well, what's it called? The big rocket that they use to launch things into space. I don't know what it's called. I, I, it's like the I'm Hercules. Tipsy. I don't know what it's called. The Bears it's like lost. the Hercules rocket or something like that. That they're like, do you know what that has to do with the Roman Empire? And I do because, do? yeah. Right. Um, phallic. So, phallic symbol? No. Good, good, good guess. Because <laughs> um, they when, were into dicks, man. When, when the railroad was made. So, you know, early american history when like railroads were first put together mm -hmm. they they it was the width of a carriage yes and the width of the the width of a carriage which was two horses side by side like the average size of two horses side by side was established by the roman empire in terms of like this is 
this is what the width of a road should be. So like yes, even, yes, right, yes. So, so now even like a like a one lane road is yes. the width of what the Romans considered to be a chariot size, which was two roads or one carriage, and so that became the standard size of the railway. Correct. Well, the when NASA was first making rockets, they shipped them by rail. So from okay, so it had from, to be the size. So that it had to be the same size as a Roman chariot, which was drawn by two horses, and that's how the Roman Empire has influenced space travel. Do we have anybody that has on the comments that said they know the Roman Empire? No. Um, but like I don't think of that often unless someone says, Hey, do you know how space travel has been influenced by the Roman Empire? Right. Because they, 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 they educate you. Yes. Yeah. And I go, Yes, I do. Yes. Um, we like, heard it I on the radio, Ursula and I, we heard it on the radio, and then yeah. she Googled it, and we just learned about a bunch of shit about the Roman Empire. But <laughs> I was flabbergasted. I'm I'm not shitting you, Greg. It's not an exaggeration. I walked right. up like I was. We were driving in from pizza night with the fam, and I saw my neighbor pull in. And Chuck's a great guy, so I walked Did across. You shout over, and I said, Greg. I said, not Greg. I said, Chuck. How often do you? I said, this is going to be a weird question, but how often do you think of the Roman Empire? And he's like, really? I was just thinking about it the other day. I was like. Are you kidding me? I I saw another meme that says when a man believe turns, it. when a man turns 40, he either needs to really get into World War II or smoked meats. And I went, why not both? Like, okay. And it sounds I, like a quote that should be like in a uh, that's like a Gregorism. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you I don't have a lot, but that's a Gregorism. I didn't make it up, but I mean, that's something that you go. Oh, shit when i turned 40 what did i do yeah i mean i suppose i got my smoker when i was like 43 or something i mean so you go yeah that sounds about right um but yeah i mean it's i think about the roman empire like sometimes when we're playing D and they're like really yeah, well, well like artillery damage you're like well what kind of artillery because the <laughs> romans had this and the greeks had this i mean wow i think about okay what what do i what can i do again <laughs> how many how many how many turns do i have to attack and i see greg over there going <laughs> you get two johnny you have an advantage you get two it's right there on your sheet you also have a feed that's called double attacks <laughs> whatever it says on your sheet just add two yeah yeah so yeah that i mean and it was it was probably three weeks ago my youngest daughter out of nowhere she comes downstairs and she's like dad how often do you think about the roman empire i'm like uh why (laughs) like it was such a weird out of i know but what'd you answer i i'm like not often she's like would you say it's once a week i said no i wouldn't say it's once a week (laughs) yeah like the 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 average now again i don't know if they're lying or not but it's like twice a twice a day can't no no, I don't. Now, my thought was, okay, are you associating Roman with phallic symbols? So every time you touch yourself, you're thinking of the Roman Empire? Like, I don't, like... No. They I, I didn't know. I was like, how... I was trying to find a correlation to where it could be feasible. Because I just can't understand how somebody thinks about it twice a day. Yeah. That'd be Unless right. you're an archaeologist... Or a pastor. They talk about Romans a lot. Oh, they do. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, but, even when I say Rome wasn't built in the day, I don't think about the Roman Empire. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I just, I, I don't understand it. Um, Mrs. Struly, ask your husband. Oh, they're not in the same room. Are you kidding me? It doesn't matter. Ask dad. Ask dad. Ask him. Say, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? And then report back. <laughs> What'd she say? Well, she hasn't yet, but oh. <clears throat> now hurry up before we uh nice. the podcast. Yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime. No, quickly. is he asleep? No, is he asleep? No, he's 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 in the opposite end of the house. How big's your house? How big's your old house? It doesn't matter. <laughs> she I mean, she could text him, she could call him. He do might you do go, that? Do you do that by the way? Like if you're upstairs and Chris is downstairs, yeah. do you text her? Yeah, yeah, we will. You lazy son of a bitch. 
I will. Well, like my kids, when they come home, they, if I don't have them doing something, they will go up to their room and like, it becomes, they shut off the world. Either they take a nap or they got headsets on. And so I could, I have been at the bottom of my stairs shouting up to them in their yeah. rooms where I know the neighbors are hearing me and my kids have a headset on. They won't hear me. So the only way for me to get a hold of them is to call yeah. them. I actually have a, uh, somebody text me a question. He's going back to the Bears game, though, so sorry. Um, friend of ours of the show wants to know, <laughs> how come the Packers always get a, the quarterback picks right and the Bears never do? It's <laughs> a great question. Uh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> GM? I don't know. Um, yeah. Mom says that Dad watches, uh, he thinks about the Roman Empire when he watches a Roman movie. Which is how often, Mom? More probably more in the holiday season because that's oh, when, because is that like the robe? And yeah, that's when Ben Hur is on and Ben Hur and would you Moses, cons- no? Ten that's Egyptian. Egyptian is uh, most <clears throat> Ten Commandments. Yeah, when Ten Commandments is on, but that's Egyptian. I would th- I would say I think actually Egyptians not in my mind, but I feel like more attention is that with Egyptian than anything else. In my think, world, you think about the Egyptian empire more than I don't think about it, but I feel like it's in my face more like like I, there's always a pyramid. Um, Egyptians, everybody always whether it's comic books or it's stories, it always ties back to something the Egyptians did. I think I moon Knight that was Egyptian stuff. Yeah. I think I think more about the British Empire more than I think about the Roman Empire. I would say I agree with you on that. Like we have discussions in my house about how the world is still reeling from the atrocities of the British Empire. Yes. We just had a conversation the other day, like in in Britain, in in their museums, they have artifacts from all these other countries that they're, you know, they were like India and yeah, India, uh, Egypt, Greece, you know, they've got these huge archaeological finds. Right. That they're those countries are like, hey, that was ours. Like, you should give that back. And Britain's like, no. <laughs> like, we don't, we found it. We do love United Kingdom. We have a couple of listeners out there. So we do love you guys. I think you have the best actors out there. I think your American accents are better than our real accents. <laughs> personally. <laughs> So, all right, man. Yeah, cool. I think we're good. Yeah, I think you agree. I think so. All yeah. right. I love saying this. I've sent this to you. So, um, I think I did. I say this yes last week about the Titanic. I don't. No? I don't remember a Titanic quote from last week. I, this is my favorite quote. I think it's hilarious. Um, <laughs> did you know that the pool in the Titanic is still full of water? Yes, I've heard that. I love that. All right, man. Take us out. Okay. As you are talking to people, remember your tone matters. It's not just what you say. It's how you say it. Bingo. However, you're saying something, whether you meet it or not, don't be a douche. There you go. So for the Greg, this is Johnny saying one day the Bears will win. Take care, everybody. Have a good day or have a good week podcast out thanks for joining us take care all right